Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'll show you six different ways to draw straight lines using digital art software. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using Corel Painter 2017 for this demonstration, but you'll be able to apply many of these methods to other art applications as well. One of the most common ways to draw a straight line is to hold down shift right before you draw and keep holding down shift. As you can see here, it's constraining my line onto that horizontal axis. If I let go of shift and I start painting, then my line is freeform again. If I hold shift and draw vertically, I can draw a vertical line. I can also draw diagonally holding shift. The next method for drawing straight lines is to select the straight line drawing mode. There's a lot of applications that have this mode in Corel Painter, it's located up here. And I can tap multiple times to draw a segmented line like this. If you're using an application other than Corel Painter, your line tool might work a bit differently. You might have to drag out the line and it might not be a continuous line like this. In Corel Painter, if you wanna end your line segment or break it, what you have to do is switch back to freehand drawing mode. The keyboard shortcut for that is B. So I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard. I'm drawing freeform. And if I wanna continue that line from another direction, I'll hit V, which is the shortcut for straight line drawing mode. I can draw my straight line, B and V again to end the segment. And I can really quickly go through here and just draw single lines. Or if I wanna draw a continuous shape like this or a polygon, I can do that as well. Another method for drawing straight lines is to use the vector drawing tools. I'm gonna select the Bezier pen here. I wanna make sure that I have a stroke selected, but no fill. My stroke will be black, and I can tap to create these vector lines here. And then if I go to my white arrow tool, I can select the individual segments or vertices, and I can move them around, and I can reshape this line. Another way to draw straight lines is to use a selection tool like the rectangular selection. Just drag out a thin selection like this. We'll go ahead and fill it by going to Edit Fill, or you could hit Control F on your keyboard. I'm gonna fill it with black. And then I'm going to go to Edit Free Transform. I'll select the Rotate Transformation. And now I can rotate this and put it at a different angle if I like. And I can move it around. I can transform it again, and I can make it smaller, and so on. Next is the old school method, which is using a ruler or something with a straight edge. It doesn't necessarily have to be a ruler, it could be a book or your phone, but anything with a straight edge will help you draw straight lines. Just make sure that the object or the ruler that you're using isn't going to scratch your tablet or your screen. And the last method is drawing straight lines freehand. And I have a couple tips for you. One is to draw your lines really fast, because if you draw a line too slow, it'll come out wobbly. And the second tip is to turn on a little bit of smoothing. In Corel Painter, it's called damping and damping will smooth out your brush strokes and make them less wobbly. If I turn damping all the way down and I draw a straight line, it comes out a little more wobbly, but if I draw it fast enough, I can still get a straight line. If I turn the damping up, let's say to 90, it's much easier to get that straight line. So there you go, those are six techniques you can use to draw straight lines in your digital art application. If you're interested in some more drawing tips, check out my video called 10 Drawing Tips. This video was made possible by my friends and fans who support my channel over on patreon.com slash Aaron Rutten. Join my Patreon community today to get early access to my new videos ad-free, coupons to save on my courses, priority for your questions and critiques, new brushes every month, and more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.